gadget. This is uh, the Motorola Zoom 2. Yes, the Zoom 2, which we're announcing today. So the follow-up to the Zoom takes it lighter, thinner, brighter. So what we see has a full 10.1 inch um, display. It's 1280 by 800 resolution. You'll see the design on the front here has this uh, angular cutaway design that we see, which is taking through from the recent Razer launch, taking that through to our tablets, a design which goes through. It makes it very nice and easy to hold in the hand. Uh, on the device itself, it features a 1.2 gigahertz dual-core processor. Um, it's got, um, on the back, you can see the, uh, the HD camera, you see here, and the flash. So is that a 5 megapixel camera yes, on the back? Yes, yes, uh, yeah, high megapixel camera. We've also got the HD camera on the front there. So if that's for point-to-point -point, um, video conferencing with, for example, the, the G-Talk application that we put on there. The device itself features the splash guard technology, which is um, a nanotechnology. It's a full splash guard proofing. So if you accidentally spill some water on the device, then it's going to actively repel that. So if I was to have the device here on the table, you can actually do it now. I'm not going to actually do it now. And it, it features that technology on there, so it means that it gives you that a little bit of added protection uh, if and when you're caught in the rain, or if you want to, uh, if you, if you. So here we see um, the stylus. So this stylus will be in. Uh, it's a capacitive stylus. It's an optional accessory available at time for launch for the Zoom 2 10.1 inch device. So you can see here, I can use that to scroll through uh, the menus. I can put up here the applications can scroll through that very nice and easy. If I wanted to take a note quickly, we have the notes section down the bottom. You can go and click on that and open up an Evernote to go and create a new note. A number of different applications you'll see throughout the whole UI, the capacitive screen, the passive pen works on this device, so it should work on oh, all applications. Okay.